I'd like to talk for a moment about the pitfalls that you can run into when you're getting products ready for uh, overseas customers, your new customer in Japan or China or Germany or France. And um, I relate this story. I was at this conference where uh, there was like sort of a panel and Eric Schmidt of Google and Michael Moritz, who was one of the founding uh, sort of venture capitalists who was on the Google board, were talking. And it was like the third question that was asked. It was like, well, what about global markets? You know, how, how important are they? And man, did it cause a tirade because really um, everybody talks about how global markets are, are fundamental to revenues. You see mature global companies earning 65% and even more of their revenues outside of their home markets. Uh, often those home markets we'll talk about from the U.S. But that's really important when you think about it. So do you want to get that wrong? And so what I, what, what, so the reason why I relate this story is Michael Moritz goes, you know, Eric talks about how important it is and then Michael Moritz stands up and he goes, yeah, but everybody's late and the software is loud easy and it just costs too much. And so I, remembered that and I wrote it down and, and so I, I like to talk about it is as uh, late, lousy, and over budget. Now why would that be? Well the reason is is that internationalization is a complex process and it's often done while you're even localizing software and so there's this whole iterative process of coding then localization, and you find bugs and you send it back to testing, and it's just painful. This goes on over and over again. And so maybe the first release is kind of cruddy, and then the second release gets a little better. And all the while you're delaying all these revenue opportunities and running over budget because this iterative cycle of kicking things back and forth is really expensive. So the solution. Really, there's only one out there, and we made it really for ourselves so we could internationalize services better. But the solution really here is this product that we have called Globalizer. It supports an entire enterprise of developers. And, you know, you check code for all kinds of issues from memory leaks to security. If so much of your revenue depends on globalization, shouldn't you have a control in place to make sure that you're writing software right from the start so it's ready for localization so you could get to those markets. So go to Globalizer. Lizer. That's kind of spelled funny. That's global and analyze sort of put together in one word. Go to globalizer.com. Sign up for a trial account. The system is a client server system built to support entire organizations. It can run automatically, checking code, making sure that you're writing code that's ready for the world, right out of the box, and eliminate that painful cycle of localization, fix it again, go back into testing, recode, and so on. So have a look, and if you need to learn more, go to lingoport.com.